So Avengers Age of Ultron is coming out soon, and my anticipation for it has metaphorically gone through the roof. However, before it comes out, I wanted to put my predictions out onto the internet, so after the movie comes out, I can either say I told you so, or look incredibly stupid. And also, a lot of leaks have come out for this movie, which is unfortunate, so I'd like to preface this by saying that I'm not the kind of guy who wants to know everything about a movie before watching it, so these predictions are not based on leaks or anything, they are entirely my own. Oh, and also, these are in no particular order. I just brainstormed a bunch of stuff, so here we go. So first off, I'm guessing all the Avengers gather up around the beginning of the movie and they have a party, which is this scene where they try to lift Thor's hammer. Tony Stark also builds all these Avengers bots to help the Avengers, and their leader is Ultron, who is made of some busted out Chitauri tech left over from the Battle of Manhattan. However, Tony Stark decommissions them, or they get destroyed, or they're just lying around. Point is, they're not in use. But Ultron comes back somehow and crashes the Avengers party. He's all like, I just watched Pinocchio. Listen to all these quotes. Then some Ultron bots come out and a fight ensues. Ultron goes loose and the Avengers gather in this place. Alright, that's what I think will happen towards the beginning of the movie. The rest of these could happen at any point in the film. So Ultron goes off and frees Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver from Baron Von Strucker, and Ultron recruits them. Later in the film, they turn inside with the Avengers. How late in the film? I don't know. At one point, the Avengers fight Ultron, probably in this city that Hawkeye is evacuating, but, and I think I'll let Kevin Feige say it, The Avengers, uh, frankly, have gotten their asses whooped by Ultron. Quicksilver then shows Thor something as teased in this clip. Kinda hoping Thor would be the exception. Yeah, in time. We don't know if the Maximoff kid show him. Thor then gets really mad at Tony Stark because he messed with something he couldn't control, so he lifts Stark up by the neck and sort of just looks at him. Then he's like, I'm gonna go find Ultron myself, and he leaves. Then the fight between Cap and Iron Man, as seen in the previously mentioned clip, takes place. Speaking of this place, this is where the Avengers hide out at one point in the movie, or meet up with Nick Fury, who's giving them this inspirational speech. So stand and fight. Thor goes to some mystical place to find Ultron, possibly Asgard, since you can see these markings in the background here. Then Thor gets kidnapped. At first glance, I thought he was shooting lightning here, but when I rewatched it, I realized that he doesn't have his hammer, so he's probably getting shot by something here. He gets kidnapped and then gets put in this pool, which is some kind of prison, which relates to this woman person thing who everyone is wondering about. She's standing in this area, which looks like the pool that Thor is trapped in. At first, I thought, like many others, that this lady is somehow Black Panther related. But then I heard another theory from a great YouTuber called Mr. Sunday Movies. So just to be clear, I'm not taking credit for this particular theory, but I wanted to share it because it sounds really plausible. This place where Thor gets trapped is hell, like the mystical place from Norse mythology and Marvel comics. And this lady is either Hela, the ruler of Hell, or Death, Marvel's version, who in the comics has been a love interest for Thanos, so that ties in nicely. It's a great theory, and I've linked the full video right here. Thor might just stay trapped here, but I'm guessing he'll get out by the end for this epic final battle. Sometime probably towards the middle of the film, Ultron goes to Africa to get Vibranium to coat himself in, transforming himself into this. He does this, and the Avengers follow. Ultron also chills out at this facility with Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, which looks like the same place that Tony Stark is visiting here. Anyway, Hulk then either Hulk out or gets mind controlled by Scarlet Witch based on the red in his eye here. Or maybe his eyes are just red because he just got punched in the face by a giant robot. So Hulk fights the Hulkbuster in South Africa, as evidenced by this right here. Hulk then de hulkivates and Bruce Banner is wandering around this icy forest here. This is also the place that the Avengers fight these snow guys with laser guns and Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. These guys, though, they could be working for Ultron, but I suspect that they're Hydra, based on the events in the Winter Soldier. The Avengers, especially Captain America, seem to have been kitted out with some new gear. After this, the Avengers pick up Bruce Banner and give him a blankie on their plane ride. In the same Africa segment, Black Panther may be mentioned, but Ulysses Claw, played by Andy Serkis, will definitely show up. Now, I think a fight between the Avengers and Ultron will happen on these boats, as this scene looks like it takes place on those boats. This is the place where Black Widow gets mind-controlled, and Captain America gets uppercutted. Which, let's be honest here, getting uppercutted by someone going at that speed would probably take Cap's head clean off. To stop Ultron, the Avengers create Vision, who I think will end up saving the day. What sets him apart from Ultron is this thing in his head, which is pretty much definitely the Soul Stone. That would make him different from Ultron, and also incorporate one of the Infinity Stones, aka Gems, into the MCU. Speaking of the Vision, I think this is Vision in this truck. We'll be getting a Black Widow origin story, which will involve some ballet and some probably tortury stuff, where we see how Black Widow became Black Widow. Speaking of her, there's going to be a Black Widow Hulk love story, since they're staring each other down here, and she reaches for him when Ultron attacks, and they're about to make out here, stuff like that. Also, we'll be getting a Captain America flashback to the 40s, based on this shot right here, where we see Cap walking in a very 40s party with possibly Howard Stark and Peggy Carter. Another thing, I don't know whether or not the other Phase 2 movies will play a big role in this, because, spoiler alert for Phase 2, is Tony Stark removing his arc reactor gonna play a part? Is Loki dying, kind of, not really gonna play a part? Is the Winter Soldier gonna play a part? And most importantly, is Hydra more or less destroying S.H.I.E.L.D. gonna play a part? Probably, I'm guessing. I mean, Nick Fury does look pretty homeless here. So towards the end, this big final battle 
takes place, the Avengers fight Ultron and the Ultron bots, and Vision defeats Ultron in the end. I am calling it. It also seems that Black Widow takes Cap's shield here in the final battle, so what's up with that? Also, don't even ask me where Captain America's broken shield fits in, because I just don't know. Probably towards the very end of the film, or maybe in a dream sequence? I don't know. And my final prediction is about the end credit scene. Obviously, the end credit scene can literally be anything, as evidenced by last year's Guardians of the Galaxy, but I think the post credit scene might tease Civil War, but more likely, it will give us a look at Marvel's Spider-Man. That would be awesome. Or maybe it'll be Bruce Banner counseling Howard the Duck while Thanos smiles in the background. Who knows? So those are my predictions for Avengers Age of Ultron. Wow, this is going to be a crowded movie. What do you think will happen? And please, put your own thoughts down there. Don't be that one guy who spoils the movie for everyone, because no one likes that guy. Click the like button, and subscribe for more videos like the one you just watched. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.